Ah, recording. Welcome to another edition of Suck My Dick, happening to the YouTube atheist community and my hard cock. I'm kidding. But, <laughs> oh man, that was dumb. Anyway, so I said earlier on the fan page that I was going to do a video on this AJ2674 guy, and well, I was out taking a walk. Kind of gloomy weather, and whatever. But I figured, well, why the fuck not? There's no reason to not do a video. I'm already out in the perfect area to do one. So, here we go. So there's this guy named AJ2674 who's been commenting on a lot of my videos. You may have seen his comments. You may have even seen them on other people's videos that I've commented on. He likes to follow me around the website. And uh, a lot of people have actually confused this dude with Fun With Logic. Well, I have actually talked with Fun With Logic only a couple of times since that epic bullshit battle. The troll war, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. And one of the first questions that he asked me when we first spoke was, Am I AJ2674? Is that like a sock account of mine or some shit like that? And I flat out told him, no, it's not. No, it's not. And he told me that uh, he had been speaking with this AJ2674 dude. And he had told him that he is some kind of federal official who works for a private security firm that looks at and monitors activity on various YouTubers' accounts. Like what kind of videos they're putting out and what kind of an audience they're attracting and such. Now, in today's day and age, it is an unfortunate reality that, that that is a very loud frog and that people, unfortunately, use social media for some pretty destructive ends. You can't make it perfectly safe, you know. ISIS, unfortunately, does use Twitter to coordinate their stupid bullshit from time to time and as a propaganda tool, uh, you know. And YouTube has an EC on, and he's, well, he's him. <laughs> can't really get much worse than that. But this AJ2674 dude seems to think that people will believe, after they read his comments, that he works for an agency that polices what kind of stuff is put on the internet. Now, I know for the fact that there are people who do this kind of work, like such a thing exists, but I don't think this guy's legit. He's too much of an asshole. He's way too much of an asshole. The way he carries himself in his comments is absolutely ridiculous. His whole trip is that he thinks he's psychoanalyzed me. And uh, it's just from videos and my various postings online. And <laughs> I mean, really, you see a lot of this these days. When did stalking someone become psychoanalysis? You know, you've put together these various vignettes of my personality that I've already said is kind of a front you know, it's just a persona for YouTube. And then you think you've constructed a complete profile of who I am as a person from these various bullshit vignettes. And then, and then you wonder why I keep commenting to you saying that you're a delusional lunatic. Whoa, a little rock there. His response to this shit is just incredible. He actually thinks that, you know, he really knows what he's talking about, and it's crazy. Like, when you've got a guy like Fun With Logic saying that, dude, I think you're full of shit, <laughs> you really are. And, and, and it is what he is. He's full of shit. But he's been leaving comments on Gary's response video to my video on this Freely chick. And Gary's done two of them. And I really don't want to drag this scenario out more than it's already been dragged out. So I kind of just left it at the responses that there already are and then left it at that. You know, it doesn't really need to be anything more than there already is, in my opinion. But his comments on it are just, they're insane. You know, it's all this pablum bullshit. That's all it is. You know, I hate to burst your bubble, but a lot of the facts you think you know about my life that you got from Fun With Logic's video turned out to be bullshit. 
And I had to elucidate this to that guy because we had some Skype conversations after everything was said and done. And even an ex-girlfriend of mine came to him and said, look, hell, this shit is bullshit. I've seen what he was sent. He even gave up the identity of the person who sent it to him. And I checked them out. It's all horseshit. 90% of it is just made up. And the remaining 10% about my kid is just so distorted and fucking twisted, it doesn't even make any damn sense and is so far removed from reality that only someone who doesn't know the situation would take it and believe it. So, for you to have constructed this profile of my personality and shit from what you've seen in his videos and, you know, what he was told, which I had to tell him was bullshit, Okay, it's kind of gloomy out, so it's going to be kind of dark in here. Forgive me. Well, actually, the camera seems to correct it pretty well. It's a lot brighter on this camera than it really is in my vision. Because, goddamn. Turn down the contrast on it a little bit, and it'll probably look like what I'm seeing. Anyway. But anyway, for you to have done that is just ridiculous. And it goes to show me what a fucking idiot you are. Ugh, goddamn it, fucking rock. <laughs> rolled my ankle a little bit. <clears throat> it's incredible. I mean, the guy is under the delusion that I still I, I still live in Vegas. He seems to think that Las Vegas looks like this, apparently. He doesn't have any idea what the hell is going on in my world, but he's, you know, he's doing his thing. And it wouldn't be a big deal. After the fun with logic thing, it wouldn't be a big deal. But I was seeing comments from this asshole even before fun came along actually. He'd been dropping his douchebag of the day fucking post every so often for at least a year and a half now, if not a couple of years. And it's fucking irritating. I'm not going to sit here and blow smoke up your ass and say it's not irritating, but, you know, it's been going on for a while. You know. He is, it's, it's, you're still under the impression, too, that I, <laughs> from one of your comments, you're like, well, you supposedly work in a mental hospital, right? Uh, well, I did four years ago and I don't anymore because I have a lot more meaningful employment and if you're so dumb you think that's YouTube then holy fucking shit I really I almost envy your stupidity but no I only worked as a maintenance engineer in a fucking mental hospital and he's going off thinking I was a psychologist or some shit I briefly studied psychology for a little bit and then I just kinda lost interest and kind of got bored with it. Which is fucking hilarious. How's it going? People down there. Hop the log. Alright, here's the path I was looking for. I found a new path in here a couple of days ago. Now, it's not very well marketed, but... Yeah worth a look see where it goes and yes there are people down there in the river sometimes they fish down there which is actually kind of cool you know I don't think I deserve to be stoned to death for catching a fish I guess that makes me a bastard but you know whatever but anyway getting back on the subject you know what what, what are your credentials for real man like really what do you do for real besides sit on your fucking ass and you know live four years or so in my past and think that has a basis on my present you know what what is your qualifications are you like some kind of mad scientist <laughs> a fucking psychologist who's just completely gone rogue or got fired from his practice because he's a fucking moron who doesn't know how to psychoanalyze people at all <laughs> you know people get paid something like 490 to five hundred thirty dollars an hour from an insurance company to sit there and deduce a person's state of mind while they sit on a couch and talk about their fucking feelings and you're gonna do it for free online off my YouTube videos where I say it's a persona it's all bullshit you know and I'm supposed to take that as fair all right it's a little too thick down here I'm getting spider webbed 
So I'm gonna go back. I'm almost afraid that the predator alien is gonna jump out of the fucking bushes or some shit. I'd be more scared if that black dude that was in Predator, not uh, Carl Weathers, but the other one, Bill Duke, jumped out. That guy was scary. I'm sure he's a really nice guy in person as an actor, but man, he's a scary looking fucking dude. He's like six, nine, and a million pounds, just Whoa! Sorry about that. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway, so getting back on subject, now that we're heading back the other way, I, I really do want to know what this guy's deal is. I mean, I've tried to figure it out for a while, like, he's too persistent to be a troll. You know, because even, like, Fun With Logic, like, fucked off after a while. Ugh. Spider was stuck up there. That was gross. Sorry I had to put you through that. <laughs> But even Fun With Logic had to fuck off after a little bit. And, I mean, you know, as irritating as that was, what can you do? At least the guy had the balls to talk about it. And I have offered to uh, talk face-to-face -face with this guy about what was going on, but, you know, that comment randomly found itself deleted. And, uh, well, there went that. I wonder how that happened. Hooray! Oh, yeah, for a gloomy day, it's actually not all that bad out. It really isn't. I didn't want to exactly get out of the house when I had to. They were doing some maintenance on the building and it was doing my fucking head in. They're gonna start putting in little reserved parking areas with an overhead and then shit like designated resident parking which I think is a good idea it'll cut down on these assholes who don't fucking live here taking all the parking spots cause that happens you know you leave out in the morning the fucking parking lot is empty you know a lot of people have gone to work I understand that but you come back at night and you after a while of living here you begin you know you know the cars that fucking that live there you know and then at night, you see all these people who obviously don't fucking live there. And it's like, you know what? Why the fucking fuck am I sitting here putting up with this? And that's what the apartment people thought, too. So they've recently come up with this thing. But they got to do all this maintenance on the uh, parking lot out there. It sounds like they stopped. Which is good. But it was just fucking killing my head. Just sit there and listen to some asshole jackhammer post holes for an hour. Ooh, no. They don't even really need a jackhammer. They have a tool that's specifically for that. And it's got a spike in it and an air pressure tank reservoir. And once you hit the trigger on it, it just pounds a hole right into the fucking ground. You don't need a jackhammer for that. They're supposed to use those for chipping away concrete. And this isn't concrete. But, whatever. You know, it's not like I know what I'm fucking talking about or anything, even though I do. It's not like I used to do this for summer jobs all the time in Vegas. Because, <laughs> to be honest, there almost is no other kind of work. Ugh. Ooh. Ooh. Nasty. Feel pretty dirty. Sweaty. Gross. Ew. <laughs> anyway but this guy he's, he's really been pissing me off you know I, I tried to like not make too much of it but after a while it's like you know you can only tell somebody they're wrong so many times and either they'll get it or you just have to go you're a stupid fuck and, uh, you know, leave it at that. I mean, there's nothing else you can tell them. It's like you're a stupid fucking slimy, manipulative, fact-ignoring, ball-gargling asshole. 
and there's nothing else to, to say. <laughs> so, you know, fuck you, basically, and uh, this insinuation that I'm supposed to be intimidated by your knowledge of psychology. Like, one of the things he says in his comments just blew my mind. It was so stupid. Is that my YouTube videos are just like some way for me to grab an empathy from people and sympathy from people. And I'm doing it because I'm a sociopath, apparently. Well, it doesn't make any sense because sociopaths have no use for fucking sympathy and empathy. You know, I hate to bring up old shit, but look at what fucking onion fucker does. The guy doesn't feel sympathy. He doesn't feel empathy. What do you think the shit he does to women, he's doing because he's like innately broken hearted and he just needs their romance? No, it's because he gets off on it. He's his nutcase. Their suffering is his elation. You're talking about a broken um, equation of suffering and enjoyment, essentially. And I don't appreciate that accusation, fucker. I really don't. It, it pisses me the hell off to sit in there and, and, and take that fucking shit. And then you'll, you, what he'll do is when you get pissed off and you say that you're full of shit, he'll go and say, see, I called him out. Now he's just backpedaling because he's guilty. He, he went so far as to say that me admitting for like the fourth or fifth time now that this whole some guy thing is sort of a persona, you know, that it's just me backpedaling, that it's not true. It's like when you hit him with truth, he doesn't want to accept it. He thinks he knows what a sociopath is. Yeah, I'd have no, if I were one, I'd have no use for sympathy. Yeah, I would have no need or desire to have such an emotion. Because sociopaths are fucking broken, shithead. They don't know what happiness is. They don't know what romance is. They don't know what elation is. They don't know what anything is because they're fucking emotionally and psychologically broken. <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> but of course, you know, I'm just, I'm full of shit. And then he uses another argument that it really just, it rustles a jimmy or two. Where he says, you know, as a father, the videos you put up offend me. Oh, well then, you know what, bitch? Don't fucking watch them, you fucking Pollyanna crybaby. Jesus Christ, how many fucking sensitive fucking bourgeois, you know, <sighs> fucking passe wimps we gonna, were you, are we gonna get in this fucking world? You know, seriously, you fucking pussy. As a father, if what I do on YouTube offends you, don't let your kids watch it and don't watch it yourself, you fucking panty waste. Seriously. You want to get off this fucking hard-ass persona and shit. And then he calls me kid, too, in one of these. I'm like 26 years old. You know. Okay, well, if I'm 26 and still a kid, how the fuck old are you, you foggy old piece of shit? You're sitting there laughing at my comments and stuff, and I'm sitting here laughing... And I'm like, okay, so is it just now the older generation has lost their fucking shit and they think that when they sit there and act like befuddled fucking teenagers pretending to be trolls that they're cackling at our responses as a younger generation saying they're a fucking moron because they've earned some sort of wisdom in their older age or some shit? Because it doesn't fucking work, jackass. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, but your older generation fucking destroyed the world I'm living in, you ass wipe. I can't really take shit seriously, depending on how old you are. But the way he phrases his comments, you know, you, you get the vibe that he's older. You know, because he calls me kid and I'm 26. You know, he says he's a dad, so it would imply that he is older than me. I'd say maybe mid-40s, early 50s at most. But it's just, you know, what the fuck have your, has your generation done for the world, then, shithead? Besides, think Reaganomics was a great fucking idea, and uh, put us in the goddamn economic shithouse with that. Sit there and advocate that whole generations of kids grow up on shit like Ritalin, and sit here and 
say, oh, you no, no, you're stuck with the deficit of our bad decisions, asshole. Now, you've got to sit there and clean that shit up. Fuck you. You should clean up your own fucking mess. Why the hell do we have to? And say that's a childish mentality? If somebody grabbed you by your scruffy fucking neck beard, you fedora-tipping cunt, and shoved your face in the shit that you've made the world, you wouldn't appreciate the stench of it very much, would you? I don't think you fucking would. And cocksuckers from your fucking generation sat there and made sure that kids would get punished for taking out college loans, essentially. They'd sit there and have these fucking loan deficits and, and debts that are absolutely draconian and you can't even fucking pay the son of a bitches off in your lifetime. And sit there and say, oh well, I guess you kids are going to have to figure it out. Fuck you. Fuck you. If you know anything about what's going on, no. We may be part of the middle class and we're pulling the fuck out. And letting you deal with the problem then, cocksucker. I'm so sick and tired of motherfuckers that, that are like this. I get them all the time on my videos now, and it's annoying. It's annoying. <laughs> it really is, though. It really is. There's no responsibility for fucking ruining the world. Not at all. I mean, it's not my fault you didn't pay attention to what the fuck you were putting in your ballot voted in a whole lot of assholes who sat there and fucked you in the ass and said, Oh, God, what are we going to do? <laughs> sure, save us, Federal Reserve. It's totally not a fucking financial conflict of interest that you sit there and convolutingly inflate the fucking debt of our country's uh, debt ceiling by like a trillion motherfucking fold by just printing up fucking money that nobody goddamn earned. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm young. I'm young. I'm not supposed to know about these fucking things. <laughs> I'm not supposed to know about the issues of the world that I've unfortunately inherited from a previous generation's fucking inability to do something constructive about these real problems. I'm getting dripped on a little bit, so it may start raining here in a little bit. Ugh. But, you know, what do I know? You know, I, and, and really, I think the part about all that that pisses me off the most of this fucking comments is the as a father shit. Oh, fuck you with your father shit. Fuck you. All right, for all I know, you could be a single fucking loser with no kids weighs about 500 fucking pounds and sits on his goddamn ass and doesn't do a motherfucking thing all day. And you have the right to commentate about somebody else. Fuck you. You can't prove either way that you're actually a father. Oh, yep, starting to come down. Which to me ain't a big deal. Really. I don't mind a little rain. Thank God I decided to go under here, though somewhat of a natural umbrella it really is but it feels good it's a humid one out but anyway you know as a father shit fuck you I don't appreciate that bullshit because you're sitting there saying as a father you know you kids need to work on fixing all the problems I my generation gave you so you're gonna lump it all on your own fucking kids too and then not even feel bad about it because you're an asshole essentially it's amazing <laughs> you're going to deduce my psychology and I think you're a fucking prick basically a lazy self filating egotistical prick who really thinks that just because of his age alone he's seen it all and done it all and you have some empirical fucking right to commentate on my existence as a human being as if it was empirical motherfucking fact because of what you saw on YouTube. In fucking credible. In fucking credible. <laughs> and then to sit there and, and tell somebody else, oh, you probably knew it was going to tell me this shit. Oh, you know, I work for the feds. <laughs> you really. Really? 
You're going to tell me that the Federal Bureau of Investigation employs a fucking trolling division. Right. I got you, bet you got your desk backed up next to molders, too. Anyway, I'm going to get soaked and head back. Because I just remembered I didn't pack an umbrella. And this is temporarily going to suck. So, I'm some wet guy on the internet. Well, I will be in a little bit. And you'll be dry. And I'll be jealous. And then we'll be in love! But anyway, until next time, don't forget to bring a towel.